Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing our April BoxyCharm again. I am on my game and this should actually be up to you in the month of April, which is crazy because normally I'm really bad at that. Also, if you are in love as I am with this eyeshadow look I have going, then keep an eye out on my channel. I'm not sure if it'll be out already, but today I swatched, tried on, reviewed the Cleona makeup uh, eyeshadows, the, uh, what are they called? They're like stained glass eyeshadows and they are freaking amazing. So if you're interested in seeing this, then check that video out. Also, I am testing a new foundation today. That video should also already be up on my channel. So. As I said, today we are going to be talking about the April Boxy Charm. Now, quick transparent moment with you guys. I do know of at least one product that is in here, not because I went out seeking to know what it was, but I do follow a bunch of people on like Instagram that have Boxy Charm and they were posting the one thing. So when we get to that one thing, I will tell you guys what it is that I know that it's in here or hope that it's in here, hoping that I got the same product as everybody else, uh, cause sometimes you don't, you know, but before I get into this box, and if I don't know if it's just me, but these boxes seem like they're getting bigger. Um, but before we go into this box, let's talk about the March Boxy Charm. Last month's theme was Lucky. We got five products, and I'm gonna tell you guys this, and it is incredible because I have been bummed out by a Boxy Charm a little bit lately. It was a five out of five hit for me last month. Let's talk about what was in it. First thing, we got this glow recipe, banana souffle moisture cream calming, hydrating. I love this. I don't know if anybody else was like me, but as a kid, no matter what I was sick with, I always wanted banana medicine. I don't even know, is it like amoxicillin or something like that? I don't even know what it is off the top of my head but I always wanted this and this gives me such banana medicine vibes. I loved the smell, I love the taste. This is a very similar color. I really like this. It is super hydrating, you know, very, I, I think it is calming. I have a lot of redness in my face, particularly as of late with wearing the masks all the time. And it did a lot to take down some of that redness. And what I really like about this is how quickly your skin soaks it up so it doesn't feel sticky or tacky. And a lot of other kind of moisturizers, even though they're really good for you, like Tom uses the Cetaphil moisturizer like religiously, but it does leave kind of like an almost oily, greasy feel to the skin, which I'm not a big fan of. And this does not do that. It moisturizes, it hydrates, but it leaves a really, really nice soft feeling to the skin. No stickiness, no tackiness, no greasiness. Big fan of this. I'm honestly putting it on the back burner for a little bit because I do have a ton of moisturizers, which I realized when I was doing like my, like, sporadic decluttering video that I have had for a while and I haven't used up. So I'd like to use up some of the older ones first, but this I am a big fan of and assuming I get through all my moisturizers and then I get to this one, it is one that I would definitely repurchase. Next thing we got is this 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Contour Gel. I'm still not 100% sure really what this is for, um, but it feels really, really nice on the skin. I kind of put it where, you know, I get some like, I'll call them smile lines, although I'm pretty sure they're just called crow's feet because when I smile big, my eyes do go a little squinty. So I get some lines here and I also have a lot of lines down my eyebrows. So I've been putting this basically where I get a little bit more fine lines and it just feels so moisturizing. Is it something I would use all over my face? No, because it does have that sticky texture, but that's because it is a gel. So it's a little bit expected. Uh, really quickly, what does it say it had? It's supposed to... Um, deal with lines and wrinkles. So I think it does do that. I guess I'm using it for the correct purpose, but I'm surprisingly really into this. I don't know that it's worth the price that they recommend it because it says it's worth $140 and that seems really steep, especially for such a small amount. But the fact that I have it, I'm gonna keep using it because I really like it. Next thing we got was this KAB lip oil and mine was in the shade Rum Punch. Lately, I've been taking to using a lot of lip treatments. Megan bought me the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and I love that. This is pretty nice as well. Um, it is an oil, so it will stay on your lips. It is a little sticky. So if you are going to put it on and then go out and wear a mask or something like that, probably not the best idea because it's just gonna smear all over your face. But if you have some time and you're just looking for something to wear to kind of condition your lips, it is really nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't smell very good. It doesn't, 
It doesn't have an overwhelmingly bad smell, but I think in my head because like it said rum punch, I maybe expected a kind of like fruity smell. And I think they could have uh, gone a long way with getting a fruity smell. Having said that, it doesn't necessarily taste bad. It doesn't really taste like anything. And as much as you shouldn't be like eating a lip oil, you know, inevitably it's on your mouth. You're drinking, you're eating throughout the day or whatever. It, you're probably gonna taste it at some point. The color of this is also, you know, kind of, negligible it doesn't really do a lot for color I would almost rather it just be like a clear gloss kind of a thing a clear lip oil I think the color is kind of pointless but it is nice it does make the lips feel really really good really hydrated um and it lasts for a pretty long amount of time where it is slick but not too sticky which is really important to me so I do like that Next thing we got is this lavish wet brush cleaning system oh my goodness so it came with a little like stickum that's attached to the top and then it's just like a beauty blender solid um i use this to clean all of my brushes and it did a really good job like it cleaned them really quickly you i found that once i had the product in kind of the silicone um scrubber in the cap i could just continue swishing brushes in there until it got really really gross and muddy and it would clean them out really really well the one thing i will say is on a couple of my like larger foundation brushes i don't know if i just didn't rinse them enough but i found that it left a bit of like a, a residue which kind of made the brush um a little stiffer afterwards like it's almost like that feeling if you like leave like conditioner in your hair and then dry it out how you'll get like those stringy bits that are just more stuck together because it's as much as it's clean it's not clean of the product you use to clean it so i don't know if that's just a user error and i didn't spend enough time rinsing it out but i will say that in terms of cleaning it is just as good as a beauty blender solid and i think it might be a little less expensive so that's a really good option and i'm really a big fan of the silicone scrubber that's attached to the lid it is attached with a suction cup um but that suction cup was enough to hold it on there through all of my brushes it was really strong so that's really good as well and the last product we got was the this Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. Now, the last few times I've gotten setting sprays in BoxyCharms, they've always been kind of like glittery, so I haven't bothered with them. But this one was not, and I actually am a big, big fan. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it sets your makeup really nicely. It doesn't move it around a lot. It doesn't leave weird splotch marks where it hits. And the mister on this is really nice. It's a fine mist that gets... um that has like a wide spray, which are my favorite kind. It's similar to the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray and also to the L'Oreal Infallible Spreading Setting Spray. Those also have those kind of wide, fine mists that I'm a big, big fan of. So I really like this. I'm not a fan of the smell because it does have that rose in it, and I personally don't like floral scents, but it doesn't last forever. You can only really notice it when you first spray it. After that, it's completely fine. So this has been really good at holding my makeup and making it last big big fan of all five items we got in last month let's hope that this month is just as much of a success as the last one was all right so we have our little card it has a ton of candy on it and it's sweet treats is the theme for this month okay so the item that i am expecting to get and i already know it's in here because it's literally the first thing listed on the card is another natasha denona palette I have been really, really uh, impressed with BoxyCharm and really excited because Natasha Denona is not cheap. Even the little baby palettes, like the little five pan palettes are still $33. These are Canadian prices I'm talking and if you're American, it might be a little cheaper. Uh, but yeah, they're still $33. A big palette is uh, 170 if you get one of their 15 pan palettes that are the smaller pans, they're normally about $70. Now, Natasha Denona does make if not one of probably my favorite eyeshadow formula, I just love them so much and I want to recommend them to everybody, but it's so difficult because they are so expensive that for a lot of people, it doesn't make sense to drop $180 on an eyeshadow palette when you can get probably like three or four other similar quality ones for the same price, depending on which brands you're looking at. Now, what I will say, just as an FYI to you, um, the Natasha Denona Tropics palette, which is my favorite palette that they put out, it's the big 15 pan one that is super brightly colored. As of right now, it has been $81 on Sephora for a significant amount of time. That is half price, which is unheard of. That's basically $3 more than the smaller 15 pan shadows. Um, definitely, if you're interested in it, pick it up now. I'm hoping it will still be on sale when this video comes out. If not, keep an eye out. That is um, separate from the VIB Rouge sale, which is also going on right now. I don't know if it'll still be going on when this video comes out, 
and I did pick up some things, so keep an eye out for a haul for that. Anyway, so the first thing we get is a Natasha Denona palette. This is the Jubilee palette, and if I am not mistaken, it is a lot of really fun, bright colors. Absolutely. So this is what the palette looks like. I will open it up just so that you guys aren't getting the glare. So you kind of get um, like a minty green color, which is really, really pretty. Mint Frost. I actually think... Okay, Mint Frost, Limoncello, and Vintage Taupe actually are all colors that come in the Natasha Genomics Tropics palette, which is interesting. So if you get this and you're looking for those specific colors, because I'm pretty sure Vintage Taupe is like my favorite color in that shadow palette, which is awesome. Um, there's a couple of them in here. So this is said to have a retail value of $48. It says a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm. So if you are looking to get this palette, you're going to have to get a BoxyCharm subscription. Um, but BoxyCharm is like, oh god, I wish I could remember the price. Um, I'll like flash it on the screen or something like that because I can't really remember how much it is a month. But like if this, this palette in itself is worth $48. That's already more than the price of the box. So you're getting basically this for less expensive than you would get a regular five pan palette from Natasha Denona, plus you're getting four other products. So if you are somebody who is really interested in trying out Natasha Denona products, but can't afford like the regular ones, this might be a way for you to go. Uh, as I said in my last video, I was also able to pick up a bunch of the palettes in their pop-up shop for only $12, which is unheard of. It's an amazing, amazing deal for this quality of shadows. They are so, so good. And plus, maybe you are new to makeup and you're not sure really which brands to go for and you want to try out a whole bunch of different ones. This is a great way to do that. That's why I do it. It gives me an access to a lot of brands that otherwise I might not have tried to get. Anyways, so this is a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm featuring five colorful ultra pigmented shades that bring together a combination of celebration and balance between bold and pastel tones. This fun palette is packed with Natasha's iconic buttery smooth formula. They are so buttery smooth. They're fantastic. Uh, made with the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals, and luminous pearls. Use it for a variety of creations from playful, colorful, modern looks to everyday wear with a pop of color suitable for every skin tone, cruelty free and allergen free. Um, you can definitely do some pretty mellow looks with this or also get a lot more deep and fun with this as well. I'm very excited to play with this. I can already tell you guys that I'm probably going to love it based on the fact that these these three shadows are already some of my favorites in another palette that I have. I might actually kind of see how they compare and make sure the formula is the same, but I can't imagine why it would be any different. Natasha Denona is one of those uh, brands that I find no matter which palette you're getting into, the quality is always superb. And in the past when they've done products for BoxyCharm, I've still found that the palettes are the same as the quality that you would regularly expect. So this came super protected in bubble wrap and in foam. Uh, which is really good because I know I've said this before my friend Nicole Fisher she ordered a bunch of the palettes in the pop-up shop and they came all cracked and stuff like that so maybe they are like hearing people and saying like listen Natasha Denona shadows are amazing but they are fragile I have had this experience myself where one of my favorite five pan palettes did break and crack a little bit and it broke my heart it's still okay, the shadow's fine, I'm just missing like a chunk out of it, but maybe they heard that and were like, okay, we better package this super, super well to make sure it gets to everybody. The next thing I'm seeing is this Terre de Mars um, Redition Body Cleanser. Okay. Oh. It almost smells like chocolatey. Why would that be? What the heck is in here? Oh. It has coffee extract in it. So I'm, I think I'm mistaking chocolate for coffee. That seems about right. So it has coffee extract, which is an antioxidant verbena or verbena, whatever, which tones an aloe vera, which is a moisturizer. That's really nice. So it is cruelty free and vegan. Um made in France. That's kind of cool. I am looking for a new body wash, so that's exciting to have. I like to use these more at my work because here we have like all kinds of things to use, but maybe I'll try this out here. So let's read a little bit about it, shall we? So an organic, low foaming, aromatic, and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary extracts. Is that the other scent I was picking up? 
Yeah, it is like a little bit coffee, a little bit florally, but the coffee smell is not overwhelming, which is probably why I'm picking up more like a chocolate note because I actually hate the smell of coffee. I worked at McDonald's for a really long time when I was in high school and in university, and I worked a lot of morning shifts and I hate the smell of coffee. Like it just, it's like for people that like worked at Tim Hortons or Starbucks or something like that, certain things you're just like, ugh. And coffee was my big one. I would leave those shifts. Even if I was like in the drive-thru, not near the food, I would leave the shifts just stinking of coffee. Anyways, um, so such as coffee and rosemary extracts infusion with verbena oil. I'm gonna have to look at what that up. Together they tone, purify and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. I don't know why that was so hard to say. This is a $22 value. It is very fluid, so it's not super thick. So you would probably only need a little bit, would go a long way. I'm really excited to try this out. Sounds really good. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I do like getting skincare and kind of like bath care products in, is that a thing? In these boxes, it kind of just makes them a little bit more diverse than just getting makeup. Next thing I've got is a touch and soul. I really like touch and soul. They make a lot of really, really nice products. This is the Icy Sherbert Primer. Silicone free and cooling effect. So this is what it looks like. I love their packaging. I think it's really pretty. Uh, what is the smell? Oh my goodness. The smell is interesting it's very florally but like this is the weirdest texture stuff it definitely looks like sherbert uh that is so weird and even on here you can kind of like hoping you guys can kind of see that i'm trying not to drop this on the floor the weird like texture that this has do you guys see like that little bit it's almost like it's definitely silicone -y. definitely silicone -y. um Okay, so lock your looks in place and keep them cool with Icy Sherbert Primer. This gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that, what? Has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps skin for makeup. The formula is silicone free. It's silicone free and I was like, it's definitely silicone. Uh, with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth, $32 value. I'm not gonna put this on my face right now because obviously my makeup's already done, but I do want to feel the cooling effect. I'm just going to take a little bit off of the lid. Okay, so once it's actually like on my hand, it is very, feels very, very moisturizing. Um, feels like a water bomb kind of a consistency. I'm just going to kind of put it on my hand and see what it feels like. Yeah, definitely a cooling effect, not the kind of cooling effect that's like really tingly. Um, if you know what I mean, like, like almost like a menthol effect, but just like feels cold, feels really hydrating, actually leaves your skin with a really, really nice texture, uh, a little sticky, but not bad. And that's cause I just put it on. I am intrigued by this. I think it could be really, really good. I love me a good primer. Not that I need any more right now, but this could be really, really good. And you get a lot for it. Like this is 50 grams of product. 50 grams for $32 seems actually like pretty reasonable. Um, considering some other primers that you get, like the Silk Canvas Primer, which are like super teeny tiny and you don't get a lot of product in them, but they're super pricey. Next thing I'm pulling out is a Dragon Lash Tubing Mascara. Okay, interesting. What does the tube look like? Oh, it's kind of cool. So it's just a black tube, but it's got like these little, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these. They're reflecting weird. It's got these like little silver dragons on them. You're not going to see them. I'm going to stop trying to show you them. Uh, so this is a Queen Studio is the brand Dragon Lash Mascara. Instantly create the look of lash extensions with Dragon Lash Mascara. This lash doubling volumizing mascara lengthens and separates, giving you flirty, intensely black lashes. Dragon Lash Mascara is a semi-permanent uh oh, high gloss black tubing mascara. What the heck is a tubing mascara? Is that a mascara in a tube? What is it? Um, unlike conventional wax based mascaras, tubing mascaras, <laughs> it's gonna tell me what they are. Tubing mascaras contain polymers that wrap around the lashes creating tubes so they don't smudge or flake. I hate I hate the flakiness of mascara and I hate like that they clump and then you like end up like ripping eyelashes out because it's so uncomfortable. Anyway, plus they're easy to remove, making you less likely to experience lash fallout during removal. Hello, hooray for healthy lashes. So this is an $18 value. I need to see what the brush looks like because it's claiming a lot of things here. I'm, smells like normal mascara. Oh, 
Oh, how interesting. Okay, so when I first opened it, it looks like a super, super thin, like silicone wand. But if you kind of turn it, you can see that it's got like quite an interesting shape to it, which is where it gets the volume. So it's got that tiny, tiny brush with the tiny bristles, make it easy to do your lower lashes and to separate and get that length, but also has that little curved edge, which is probably where you get the volume. This sounds really good because it's so crazy. I've never thought of it before, but they're right. Whenever I wear mascara, I end up sitting on the couch later in the day, like peeling the clumps out of it and then ripping out half of my eyelashes just because I'm annoyed with it. Although the mascara I have on today, which is the Laura Geller, uh, what is this even called? Black mascara, whatever, is not as clumpy. I really, really like that. I actually got that in a BoxyCharm, but this could be like a game changer mascara. That is so exciting. I'm so intrigued to try that out. Last thing in here is a Dragon Beauty, uh, Dragon Fire Color Corrector. Okay, I don't really use color correctors. Um, I don't understand them. I never have like the green, the lavender, the peach, and this one is a lavender one. It's got really nice packaging. It just looks like a concealer with like a white lid. There is some pattern to the lid. Uh, I probably am not even gonna bother with this to be completely honest. I just, I don't know, color correctors and me don't really go together, not because I don't need them, like I don't wanna sound like super vain, like I don't require color correctors, my face is perfect. It isn't, but I don't know, there's certain things like contouring and color correcting and you know, whatever that I just never grasped and I don't know, the makeup that I do kinda of works for me and works for what I like, so I probably won't use this. So Dragonfire Color Corrector helps to conceal, correct, and perfect the appearance of dark circles, well, maybe. Dis dark circles, discoloration, and blemishes. Saturated with vitamin E and vitamin A, it blends effortlessly and offers customizable light to full coverage to make your makeup look even more flawless. Apply it anywhere you'd like to correct and neutralize and blend with a flat concealer brush or beauty sponge. After it sets, apply, nor apply foundation as normal. Okay, so this goes under foundation. It's $25. Mm, do I dare? You'll find out in a month if I decide to use this or not. I am a little intrigued by it, if I'm completely honest. It sounds like it actually might be okay for me. And I think maybe I just have a misconception of what I think color correctors are for and how to use them. Maybe I'll look up how to use it properly and I'll give it a try because we know I got some bad dark circles and I've got some crazy redness on my skin, which is actually being covered up really well right now by the foundation I'm wearing. Um, maybe we'll have to give it a shot. So that is everything in this month's BoxyCharm. All in all, I'm actually really excited about most of the products in here. The only one I'm kind of skeptical of is that color corrector. And that's not like it's not a good product to get. It's just something that I'm unfamiliar with. And so that makes me a little uneasy. But the only way to ever learn if you like things like that is to give them a shot because it is makeup. It's not permanent. Try it out, see how you like it. If you don't, no harm, no foul. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, what did you get in your BoxyCharm? Is this something you're interested in? The link in the description box also is not an affiliate link. It's just a direct link to get to the BoxyCharm website. So don't worry if you click on that, I don't get anything from it. It just makes it a little easier for you guys to get. I will list all the products down below. And if you're not and you wanna be, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.